So I just have a couple of notes about making a time lapse with the Fujifilm X-T2. Interval timer shooting is very easy to use, but it does not make a video in the camera. It just takes photos. Here are maybe uh, a couple of tips you might want to, to consider. Uh, use the electronic shutter, not the mechanical shutter. Uh, turn off the screen using the uh, viewfinder uh, button on the side of the EVF to save your battery. Also, you might want to consider setting up the camera to shoot in 16x9 since your video is probably going to be 16x9. You won't have to worry about uh, cropping, uh, cropping the images in the video editing software. And you may want to shoot using medium-sized images, which are just a little bit bigger than 4K. Um, so they have all of the pixels that you're going to need to uh, make a 4K video with them. Other things, uh, I, sh I shot the, the two time lapses that you just watched. I shot using the pro negative standard with highlight tone turned down to minus one and shadow tone at minus one. As for how to handle the images in your video editing software like Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro X, um, can just consider Googling it. There's a lot of stuff uh, out there to explain how to do that. Um, very, I use Premiere Pro and I can quickly explain how to do it because it's very easy. You go to import uh, files, you browse to the images. Uh, you need to have them on your computer or a hard drive at, the, at this point and uh, you browse to the images, you click on the first one, you highlight the first one, and then a little uh, box should appear somewhere in that dialog box that should say <clears throat> uh, image sequence. You wanna check that and then click import. You don't need to, you can't select all of the images, you just select the first one and presumably they will be numbered sequentially. I think the Premiere Pro needs that in order to put them in order. And then they will be brought into Premiere Pro as one video file. Instead of you know, a thousand photos, it'll come in as one video file that will have the same name as that one photo that you clicked on. So it's very easy, it just takes a couple of seconds. And what you do with that is you can just drag that right into your sequence, right into your timeline. And it'll, it'll appear like a video clip. At that point, of course, you can do color correction, do anything you can usually do with a video file, a video clip. Uh, I did a little bit of color correction on these. I actually played around with them a bit. I used uh, one of the Lumetri looks that comes with Premiere Pro uh, Creative Cloud. I used uh, SL Gold Orange. I tried a bunch and a lot of them had pushed up the highlights, which meant pushing up the snow uh, and it'd be up to 100% and, and be overexposed. Um, but so SL Gold Orange worked well with snow. It kept the snow at the same level, uh, I think about 80-85% um, exposed and uh, thought it made the images look uh, pretty pretty good. And one thing about snowy days too is that when you take a photo of a snowy day when it's snowing, it's kind of drab. I mean the light's very flat and uh, in order to keep the snow exposed, everything else is a little bit underexposed. So that's why I went for SL Gold Orange. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. You know, you just have to uh, find something interesting, point the camera, set up a shot, be patient, and uh, have fun with it.